Hi, I'm Summer. Ever since I was little, I've worried about the creatures under my feet. Who knows how many we've stepped on. In October, the internet introduced me to a migratory bird refuge, a rainy beach on Pea Island, North Carolina. I wanted to meet something new, somewhere new. It felt empty in the rain until I noticed something come up from under the sand. It was this little crab who chucked a pile of sand in my direction. So I called him Chuck. I just want to protect the little things. Most times bugs and animals were nicer than kids were growing up. Chuck and I just watched each other, and sadly, we couldn't spend much time together because my only rain equipment was a plastic bag. I went back to find Chuck. It was hard to find a crab that you met under the sand. Most of the morning passed until I found the shell above his burrow, and I waited to see if he'd come out. He did, with another pile of sand. It's difficult to explain the experience of getting to know a creature. It's like trying to figure out what the other is thinking. I guess if I was a two inch crab on a big beach, I'd be nervous too. Although there was a lot against Chuck, I do think he had some advantages. My favorite was how fast he was able to move on the sand with his eight coordinated legs. I guess you need to be fast when there's always the chance of being stepped on or eaten. This day was special. I felt like I began to earn his trust. You been filming our crab friend? I winded up stepping back to give Chuck some space, and when I wasn't moving, I realized Chuck wasn't completely on his own. There was sort of a crab community.
The bigger crabs lived further up the sand, and the little crabs lived closer to the water. I've never understood why some people don't care about the little things. Without them, the world would lose a lot of magic and mystery. I went back one more time to say goodbye to Jack. So we're gonna go try to find the crab that we got to know yesterday. It really looked terrible. We just had coffee in my stomach. the shell above his burrow, and I waited for him to come out. He never did.